Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In today's video, I'm going to explain you the uh, example for genetic algorithms. So in the previous video, I already explained what genetic algorithms is and I've already shown you a flowchart how genetic algorithms will actually work, right? So in this, we will understand an example with which you can understand genetic algorithms more clearly. Okay, done. So without any further delay, let's quickly get into the video and understand the, uh, the genetic algorithms with the help of example. And if you are having your exam schedule nearby, just let me know the date of your exam in the comment section so that I can make videos by your exam time. Okay, first the example which you are taking here is f of x is equal to x square and you need to maximize this function with x in the interval 0 to 31 okay so what is um, that you have to do is the function which is given to you is f of x is equal to x square okay and you need to maximize this function okay so in the genetic algorithms in the previous video when I explained you the flowchart what was the first step you need to create the initial random population right create initial random population of organisms so initially you need to take some uh, assumptions randomly you can pick any number and whatever number you are picking up you have to represent it with the help of a binary representation okay suppose we have choose four numbers here so n is equal to four number of uh, you know organisms we took is four so 13 24 8 and 19 you should not just write 13 24 8 and 19 you have to write their binary representations okay done so once you are done with representing the uh, you know taking the initial random population the st second step that you have to do is you need to calculate the fitness see the second step in the flowchart is what evaluating the fitness for the each and every organism right so you need to calculate the fitness how do you calculate the fitness you will be calculating the fitness with the help of a function which is given to you in the question what is the uh, function which is given to you f of x is equal to x square so for 13 13 square is 169 24 square is 576 64 361 right so you need to write the squares now you have to select any two parents based on the fitness and in order to select the parents based on the fitness you have to calculate the fitness of the parents first right so how do you calculate the fitness of the parents by using this formula pi pi means fitness of the parent is equal to fi fi means f means here the fitness okay fi by sigma j is equal to 1 to n f of j so what is i here and what is j here i is nothing but the string the which which string whether 13 or 24 or 8 or 19 which you have taken j means the remaining one okay done so this is how you have to uh, go with the you know problem don't worry i'll uh, i have constructed a tabular form where you can understand it more better so let's uh, see the tabular form now so yeah this is the tabular form so here you have 1 2 3 4 since you are having 4 uh, offsprings 1 2 3 4 okay and the population the binary representation 13 24 8 and 19 okay the binary representation is written here and the x values and here f of x is equal to x square because that is our question right so you need to square them 169 576 got and you need to add up all these things okay done now what you have to do is you need to calculate pi how do you calculate pi we have a formula for pi here right fi by sigma j is equal to 1 to n fj so f in the sense the one which you are taking the current one that is 169 169 divided by sum so what is the sum 1170 right so 169 divided by 1170 if you do you will get 0 0.14 for 576 you need to do the calculation so 576 divided by 1170 64 divided by 1170 361 divided by 1170 then you will be getting all these values you have added up them okay fine now you need to calculate the expected count the how do you calculate the expected count is you need to multiply pi with n what is n the number of observations that you have taken how many observations you took four right so four times 0 0.14 14 fours are 56 right so 0 0.56 like that you need to multiply with the count that you have taken the pi the fitness of the parent you have to multiply it with the count the count is here four because we have taken four observations right got it so what is this step this is the selection step the next we will be doing the crossover and then next we will be doing the mutation for each crossover and mutation also you'll have tables okay so here which one you have to select now 
which is having the highest value among all 0 0.56 1.97 0 0.22 1.23 which is having the highest 1.97 right so here 1.97 is having the highest value but in order to do the crossover single parent will not be enough right we need to select two parents so while you are selecting two parents you need you have to uh, choose one more parent so that you will be doing with crossover and mutation let us see that and understand that. so in the selection step we have selected a parent so we, you have selected this 1.97 done now what you have to do you need to do the crossover right so how to do the crossover crossover uh, first I'll explain you what crossover actually is and then we will be implementing to this table okay so first you have the data like this let us take one zero zero one 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 zero one don't um, mind this red color mark okay so without this red color mark what this data will become one double zero triple one zero one right and what this will become one zero one zero one zero double one right so these two are the data we have and crossover can be either one point crossover or two point crossover or n point crossover so here we are doing the crossover at only one point that is only at one point you are doing the crossover right so this is called as a one point crossover if you are doing two points crossover you will be doing the crossover at two points so what is crossover I'll tell you see this half the first half second half this first half and this second half that is one zero zero one zero zero and come here zero one zero one one and here also see that is what you got here here also one zero one go here from here you should go here one 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 zero one so that same one zero zero one zero 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 one zero one one okay done and here also one zero one 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 zero one okay like that you have to do the crossover suppose if you are doing it at two points then what happens suppose if you are doing it here and here also then one zero 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 one zero again from here it will go here right and from here it went here and it will come back here like that at any n number of points you can do the crossover okay so this is how you do the crossover and let us see the tabular form uh, how you do the crossover so what are the initial values so from this table you can write all the initial val values as it is okay once you write the initial values you need to define the crossover point so crossover point is at which point you will be doing the crossover okay done so you have to define for so for these two you have taken we, we took four and uh, for these two we took two okay which means at this point you will be doing the crossover after this 0 and here also after this 0 and here 2 means here you will be doing the crossover so once you do the crossover what you will get 0 1 1 0 0 right and 1 1 0 0 1 so that is also after doing the crossover whatever you will get you have to write them here and what is the value see initially the value of this is 13 but now you did the crossover right so the value gets changed so what is this so this is 1 2 4 8 so 8 plus 4 is 12 and here it is 1 2 4 8 16 16 plus 8 is 24 and 24 plus 1 is 25 okay and the same here 16 plus 8 is 24 24 plus 2 26 27 and this is you already know 1 2 4 8 16 so this is 16 okay so once you do the crossover the values will get changed and now you have to calculate f of x for the new values okay for the new values you need to calculate the f of x so what will be the f of x now 1.44 yeah guys one more thing one more thing guys i'm sorry I, uh, I forgot to tell you one thing see here actually in the third position we are having 0 1 triple 0 right but here in the third position what we are having double one triple zero so the value got changed from here to here why because since it is the smallest value in this table what is the smallest value 0 0.22 is the smallest value right so you have to take off the smallest value and replace it with the highest value so what is the value for the uh, initial population for the highest one double one triple zero right so that you have to replace here that is what i forgot to tell you okay then you'll be getting 27 and then you'll get the 729 okay done uh, so now you will be adding it so why uh, every time we are adding this what is the use of this you'll understand see initially what is the sum it is 1170 right now after crossover what did the sum become it is 1754 you are able to find the difference you are able to find the increase right you should find increase not decrease if you are finding the increase then only you are going in a good way then only your algorithm is going in a good way you have to say okay now even when you calculate for the mutation also then you should get some more value some more greater value than this 1754 okay got it so this is how you do the crossover done with the crossover the next step that we are going to do is the mutation so in mutation what we will so do now tell you. Uh, it's mutation the last step right so in mutation what you have to do is you need to apply mutation mutation to each and every child after the crossover which means see I'll tell you after the crossover 
I'll tell. Uh, so here, what what initial values you have to take? These values which you got after the crossover, the values whichever you got. So you have to forget about these things now. So whatever the values you got after the cr crossover, those values are to be taken as initial values here. Okay, done. So uh, now after mutation. Since in our previous um, step, that is in the crossover step, six twenty five. Wait here, here, here. Six twenty five and seven twenty nine are the maximum, right? So you need not change them. So you can keep them as it is. Now, what are the things that you have to change? One forty four and two fifty six should be changed because if if the value of one forty four and two fifty six gets increased, then only your sum will increase, right? So already they are maximum, so you need not increase them. now what you have to do is so you took the values after the crossover here and you are do, right doing after mutation so what do you do for mutation in mutation simply you will be changing 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 that to randomly not for each and every one see here we converted the 0 as 1 right but these two ones we did not make them zeros or these two zeros we did not make them ones right so we just did this zero is converted into one that's also you can do it randomly it is not like e each and every zero should be replaced with one each and every one should be replaced with zero it is not like that any one randomly you can change okay and these two are already maximum we should not change that i already said right so these two will be as it is so this uh, you can write them as it is now next the fourth one is also the minimum actually in the previous crossover step now we have to increase its value also so in order to increase its value you can change any of that uh, so you can change either so if you change the first position what happens the first position is 1 so if you change the first position it becomes zero actually because of that the value will reduce instead of getting increase the value will reduce so don't change the first position so you can change the second position or the third position any position you can change okay now when you change so here we are changing the third position the third position is changed to 1 so the new value that you are going to get is 18 so the new values here the x values should be written according to this binary representation okay now so you will be getting 26 25 27 18 done now you have to calculate the squares for this numbers now 676 Uh, six twenty five, seven twenty nine, three twenty four, and what is the sum you got here? Two three five four. See each and every time, what you can see the sum is getting increased, right? So which means that your algorithm is going in a correct way. If the instead of getting increased, the sum is remaining same or the sum is reducing, then your you are going in a wrong way your algorithm is going in a wrong way so since the sum is getting increased each and every time you are going in a correct way you have done the algorithm in a correct way okay so this is how you do the selection mutation sorry selection crossover and mutation okay done so that's all for this video and if you are still having any uh, doubts apart from this just let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll be explaining you about the genetic programming and i'll be com trying to complete this chapter as soon as possible so thanks for watching the video till the end and if you're still having any doubts if you want me to ask any doubts feel free to ask me in the comment section if you want me to make any other topics or any other subjects just let me know that in the comment section i'll definitely try to make it for sure and thanks for watching the video till the end